Hey pros, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA, Elite Total Body Care, private label hair care company, and Crystal W Online. So this video is gonna be a little bit different because as you guys know, I just gave birth to our son via our fourth C-section. This particular birth, I decided to do things very different. And when I say very different, I mean, I decided to kind of just do all these new things that were coming out. So we got the, the baby brothers and we got the um, delayed cord clamping and <laughs> I had a doula this time and we did placenta encapsulation. We did all this stuff. So this video, I'm actually gonna show you guys what the placenta encapsulation looks like because I just got it delivered today. And apparently they said that through um, holistic medicine, more say, um, placenta encapsulation is something where they feel that it helps to improve your mood. Um, let me see. I'm going to read what else I saw about placenta encapsulation. And some people say that it's safe. Some people, you know, like Mayo Clinic and all of that, is it, they, they try to tell you, you know, it's not good for you. But clearly it has to be good for you because it was a part of your body. And that is how your baby was getting all of its nutrients and all of its um, everything. It was getting everything. Everything. Like, let's just say what it is. It was getting everything. So it says the benefits of placenta encapsulation include a decrease in postpartum mood disorders, increase in production of oxy oxytocin, decrease in stress hormones, restoration of iron levels following bleeding after birth, and it helps to increase your milk supply. So I'm not going to really read the cons um, because I don't feel like the cons are of anything to say that I, I would care enough. And they honestly, there's like 20 pros to two cons. So we're not even going to really talk about the cons. Um, it helps to speed up your postpartum recovery. It helps your uterus return to its original shape and size. Um, it helps to regulate your postpartum hormones. It keeps you from having the baby blues and depression all of that. So I'm already slightly anemic. So this is definitely going to help me. But my doula is the one who encapsulated it for me. So let me explain to you guys just a little bit of the process. After I gave birth via cesarean, actually before I gave birth via cesarean, my team, which is the surgeon, the nurses, I'm going to call them my team. They don't work for me when she, technically they work for me, but you get what I'm saying. Um, they were told that I have a birth plan. My doula was there to enforce my birth plan and to make sure that everything went uh, according to um, standards of what was allowed and what wasn't. After which, um, my doula also informed them, hey, she's going to be encapsulating her placenta, so we are going to take it with us. With that being said, she had to have a container with ice to be able to take the placenta with her. And then they would basically have her sign off that she took it rather than them so-called discarding it or whatever they do with the placentas. I don't know. Once the, we did the cesarean and the cesarean was complete, I was awake. Once the cesarean was complete, they put the placenta in a container, in a plastic container, like, like it was a piece of liver. Okay. They put it in a, in a container. They handed it to her and she said, mom, would you like to see what your placenta looks like? I said, yes. I didn't get a picture of it. I just said, yes, I'd like, at first, I, let me back up. At first I said, no, because I was afraid to look at my own placenta. I was afraid to look at what this thing was going to look like coming out of my belly. But then the second part of it, I was like, yeah, yeah, bring it. Let me see it. I, I really need to see this. When she brought it to me, it was this neon looking light blue sack with red veins. It was so pretty. And I, I know that sounds crazy, you guys, but it was so pretty to me. <laughs> it was just, it was like this little glow. To, your girl had a pretty placenta. Just know your girl had a pretty placenta. Okay. Anyhow, um, she called her partner. They had to bring ice because the placenta does have to go on ice. Um, and then she takes it with her. And you do pay a fee. Um, the fee was $200. And they take it, they dehydrate it, they make it into a powder form, and then they encapsulate it into small gel caps. Um, and then they deliver them back to you. So the delivery was today. Um, it took about five days for me to get it back um, because guess what? They're doulas and they are doing things. 
So I'm more than certain that this placenta was sitting in the refrigerator somewhere. <laughs> Not mine, but she probably has a special refrigerator. I don't know. But anyhow, we are going to go ahead and we're going to open this bag together. We're going to take a look at these capsules together. So she put the placenta, in, the encapsulated placenta into a mason jar. And as an added bonus, which I knew nothing about, she also put the dehydrated version or form of my baby's umbilical cord. So this is a piece of the cord that was attached to Cassim in my womb. And I did not know that this was coming. To be quite honest, you guys, I'm looking at it and I'm just like, I can recall every minute of that day. And to see that my umbilical cord, that was attached to my child. I am touching it. it it's, it's just amazing to see it. I, I've always seen it on ultrasounds. But I never, you never really get to see it unless you're cutting the cord which I've never seen my cord cut because I've always had a cesarean. And you know that the cord is typically white, of course, but you're not seeing all of this. So this was definitely an extra added bonus that I'm gonna add to his baby book. It smells, it ain't got no smell. I mean, it's mine. I don't care if it had a smell or not. I will, I will laminate this, which I probably will put it in a laminator plastic, like a self-laminating plastic so that it will never break down. And this is gonna go in his baby book. This is a part of his umbilical cord. Look at that. All right. So these are the capsules. So let's open here. Mm, them, them, they smell like fish food. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna be super stinky, you know, yeah. But it smells like fish food, all right. So we're gonna take them out and we are going to look at it together. So some of them have it just kind of looks like dirt. <laughs> They're big though. They're very big. I'm not going to open it or anything, but they're very big. And that is my placenta in there. Adriana, mm -hmm. can you bring me a little bit of water? Yeah. So I'm going to take my first one today because I'm dealing with, I'm not going to say that I'm dealing with depression, but I noticed that I cry for everything. Like, and I don't think that's a form, I just think that's a part of the hormonal changes that I'm going through. So when I told that to my midwife, she's like, yeah, that kind of happens. But then she asked me other questions before she said that because she wanted to make sure that I wasn't like ready to like harm myself or anything of that nature or postpartum depression. But she's like, yeah, the, the hormonal changes that can happen. Thank you. You want to see your brother's umbilical cord? That was inside my body attached to his body. That's how he got all his nutrients. Is that work? It is. You're so, give it to me. <laughs> get away. Shoot, get away. <laughs> She's like, is that blood? That was her face. All right, so we're going to take our first one. I mean, it don't taste like nothing, you guys. I just took one. Now, I don't know how many are here. But this is my entire placenta. You gotta have a strong stomach to be dehydrating placentas. Let's, let's talk facts here. Strong. So I'm gonna take one every day until they're done because I need to raise my iron. That's number one. Number two, I wanna get all the benefits that I can from something that is basically a part of my own body. So I don't see anything wrong with it. I, th I think it's more benefit than bad because I am reabsorbing something that my body created. It's smart. So that's what we'll be doing. Plus, you know, I'm trying to get all the colostrum I can for Kasim. 
and that's just really it. So this is what encapsulated placenta looks like. Even though my placenta was a nice baby blue with red, um, the, the capsules came out brown. So I guess we're all created equal on the inside. <laughs> but this is probably the most amazing part. This is the part that I'm most thankful for because this was attached to me giving nutrients to my baby. So I'm super excited. I'm going to put that in my baby book. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reveal video. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to also turn on your post notifications. If by chance you've noticed that you have not been getting notifications for my videos, all you need to do is uncheck that little bell and recheck that little bell and then turn on your notifications so that you can start getting notified again that your girl posted a video. Okay? All right, you guys, I'll see everybody in the next video. Peace.